Now, for more on these communal clashes that had lingered, we believe, for about 40 years, uh, let's bring in the Deputy Governor of Taraba State, Mr. Haruna Manu, who joins us live via Zoom from Jalingu. Good evening, Deputy Governor Haruna Manu. You're welcome to TVC News at 10. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. Okay, so since your administration came on board, there had been many reports of, um, uh, you know, crisis between the Juku and the Tiv on the one hand and farmer herder crisis on the other hand. And now we have reports that uh, some of these land disputes particularly have been resolved. What were the hurdles that you had to cross in order to get to this point? What had to give before reconciliation could be achieved? Uh, thank you very much, and uh, let me start by saying that uh, before our administration uh, came on board in 20, 2015, uh, so many people, uh, especially the Tif people, uh, were displaced. Uh, some of them, they've gone back to Benue State. But uh, during the electioneering campaign, the, the governor, I remember in several of our meetings, he promised that uh, uh, upon his election, he will ensure that uh, uh, these people are back to the state because to start with, they are, the, uh, they are indigenous of, the, uh, of Taraba State. And uh, the governor, the first thing he did after uh, yeah, winning the election is to set up the committee, a committee, uh, so that the committee will interface between... Um, the local communities we have here and uh, the Tif community that have left uh, to Benue State. And uh, as a result of this engagement, uh, these uh, people that have left uh, Taraba State, they were able to, to come back. So mostly what happened is uh, as a result of the uh, efforts by the governor, and uh, this engagement actually started before, even, uh, before his uh, election. And um, he promised them that uh, as soon as he won the election, uh, they will all come back to Taraba State. And that's exactly uh, what happened. So, Deputy Governor, the reports say that you had a series of meetings with the TIV community leaders as well as uh, the Jukun community leaders. That's on the one hand. On the other hand, um, News has it that some of these clashes had gone on for as much as four decades, 40 years. During some of those meetings that you attended, were there peace pacts signed? What are the assurances that beyond your administration, these uh, conflicts would not rear their, their ugly heads? Well, you, you have to understand that uh, these conflicts, uh, they are not just starting now. They were there since the 60s. And uh, there were various committees and uh, a lot of uh, uh, various committees report, even during the military administration, uh, we have had this conflict. So, and uh, largely, I must say that this uh, conflict is as a result of land disputes. But now, uh, coming back to the question, is to take a practical and uh, uh, approach uh, to, the, to bring to an end to the conflict. Between the, especially between the uh, the Tif and uh, uh, other tribes, especially in the southern Taraba. Taraba. And uh, if you remember, there were several meetings between even the governor, the governor of Benue State and the Taraba State uh, 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 governor. And uh, one of the resolution is uh, uh, if you are a Tif man and then you reside in Taraba State, uh, your allegiance should be to the government and people of Taraba State. And vice versa, if you are a Jukun man or another tribe from Taraba State, but you reside in Benue State, so your allegiance should be to the government and people of Benue State. And, uh, and uh, they, we made this very, very clear to the, uh, to the communities. And uh, I must say that uh, in the last couple of months, uh, uh, the areas have been very, very calm. And uh, I must add that the governor emphasized that not only in the thief, Anybody, anybody that will come to Taraba State to farm in Taraba State is free to come and farm in Taraba State because 
you are contributing to the economy of Taraba State. So it's not only the even people have been emphasizing on the thief, thief, thief. It's not only thief people that are coming to Taraba State to come and farm. We have far, uh, we have we have people living from Kano State that are farming in Taraba State. And to start with, for the thief people, most of them they are actually they are residents of Taraba State. But whenever we have conflict, they tend to migrate to Binwe State. So that's why people are now looking at this as if. They are all indigenous uh, of Benue State, but in reality, actually, we have chiefs that uh, they are indigenous of Taraba State. So we are able to, the government has been able, very, very proactive in this, and uh, to say that if you have a farmland, you are a chief man, and you happen to leave Taraba State, you come back and continue to farm. And there were several meetings between these local communities, and the uh, government was able to to achieve this by meeting so let's, with their, let's hope uh, that uh, those efforts yield results sorry to um interject let me quickly come in with the uh, last question taraba has idps in droves uh, the this combined with refugees who are coming in from cameroon will certainly present a daunting task for the state government how is the state government coping with the refugee situation well, I must tell you that it's not, uh, it's not easy, and um, that I'm happy to report that it's unlike what we made on ground when we came in, uh, in, 20, in 2015. Now, to go back to the issue of the IDP in uh, uh, those that came from Cameroon, if you remember, uh, here in Taraba State, we have had, uh, there was a, the, a conflict on the plateau that's on the Mambila Sardona, to be precise, Sardona local government. And a uh, lot of our people actually uh, left to the Cameroon Republic. I went to Cameroon, and a uh, lot of our people were there. They were treated fairly by the people of uh, good people of Cameroon. And this time around, when there is a conflict in Cameroon, majority, a lot of them actually we have over 5,000 uh, refugees that came in from, uh, from Cameroon uh, to Taraba State. So the governor feels that uh, this is a good time to reciprocate the good gesture extended to the people of, uh, of Taraba State by the Cameroonian government. So the governor was able to provide the relief materials and um, they are living with our local community on the plateau. And uh, I must say that it's not easy uh, because to have up to like 5,000 people coming from another country to your own uh, to a state like Taraba State uh, is quite challenging. But I am happy to report that uh, government was able to, the government of Taraba State uh, was able to cater for them. And they were very, very happy. Uh, some few weeks back, actually, the United Nations refugees uh, on uh, the United Nations uh, uh, Committee on Refugees came to Taraba State to, to thank the government of Taraba State. Deputy Governor Harun Obano, thank you very much for your time on TBC yeah. News at 10. And you have our best wishes as you continue to pursue peace and development in Taraba State. Thank you for having me. Thank you.